Neil Fassett, how are you? I'm doing Calvin's well. has got to raise the camera a little bit. You're only three feet taller than I am. <laughs> we, uh, we have history, you and me. We sure do. We sure do. I graduated with your youngest son. Youngest Kirk, son, very, Kirk. very good buddy so of mine. Now I know how old you are. Exactly. Exactly. You did a good job with that young boy. Well, you know, some sometimes raising kids is a challenge. And old told Kay and I had 15, so I know. <laughs> Kirk was the youngest of the whole crew. Well, and that, he was born in 1966, so you must have been too. The same, the same. And he's he is still one of the best athletes to ever come out of the North Country. He's a good guy, and thank yep. you for saying that. Yep. And there have been a lot of good ones over the years, yeah, including sure yourself. Let thank me you. see. I, I'm trying to remember if you lived on Macomb Street. I did. Kirk and yeah, I lived hey, together on Macomb Street. You think Street. I don't know that? Good memory. We oh, can't yeah. tell any stories about that place. Trying to move his piano in and out of that place. So tell, tell me what's going on in your exciting life. Your, your name is everywhere. Well, we're busy. We're busy. Uh, the brokerage over the years has grown. Uh, I've been really, really lucky to uh, have a lot of really, really high quality, skilled, hardworking associates join the, uh, the office. And, uh, you know, it, it might sound cliche. I mean, I really am just a very small part of everything that goes on there. And uh, I'm just really lucky to have a, a great team around me. Did you ever dream it was going to grow like this when you started? I didn't. It really was never, uh, when I ventured out onto my own, it was really never the the game plan to try to, you know, become a, a dominant player in the market. It was really just to get out and spread my wings a little bit, and uh, things just grew. They just grew, and I just kind of took them as they came, and uh, the people that came on board were really catapulted it, you know, to where it is today. So, it hasn't uh, been easy. It, Not all the time. It hasn't, like any... Uh, a lot of battles along the way. Uh, it's, it's, it's real estate. It's real estate brokerage, and uh, there's constant you know, conflict and problem solving. And uh, I don't think there's any business, uh, small business nowadays, that's easy. It, uh, it takes a lot of work, a lot of patience, uh, a lot of perseverance. Um, but at the end of the day, I think if you do those things and you treat people well and you charge a fair price, you know, you can... Uh, you can experience some, some success. What's the next chapter? Have you got any huge plans? We've been picking up scoops along the way here today for Hometown Cable. Yeah. Any big plans coming up? Well, we, uh, we're we really just trying to, with a, within the broker, is just trying to continue on the same trajectory that we've been on. And uh, we've, we've grown steadily as the years have passed. I mean, I'm personally getting, uh, as years go by, more and more involved with uh, commercial real estate brokerage yeah. and development. And um, just to try to round out our, you know, our full suite of real estate services. Good luck with all of that. Let me shake your hand, Thanks, my Gordon. friend. Great seeing as you always. Later, you Same to you, Calvin. We spoke earlier with Gary Douglas of the North Country Chamber of Commerce. This is their sponsored event for the 27th year, the Business Expo, SUNY Plattsburgh Field House on Upper Ruger Street. He said there would be a major announcement coming up at 1 o'clock, and it's uh, now 30 seconds before 1 o'clock now. And they will be announcing the North American Center for Excellence for Transportation Equipment being launched right now on behalf of Nova Bus here in the North Country. It's the North Country Chamber of Commerce, the Development Corporation, several area transportation equipment companies using this business expo from the chamber as an opportunity to announce the creation of this special entity as i mentioned called the north american center of excellence for transportation equipment so it's a virtual center under the umbrella of the north country chamber that will unify the transportation equipment cluster in the region in the interest of what the Chamber says, uh, of identifying needs and opportunities that can be jointly addressed and pursued. There are other cluster initiatives elsewhere in Canada and Montreal, Quebec. So transportation is a big deal around the North Country, especially here in Plattsburgh and Clinton County. So you're about to hear that announcement. 
uh, very shortly now as they're planning to start around 1 o'clock and it's uh, just 30 seconds after 1 o'clock now. Nice to see such large crowds including dozens and dozens of our many friends here at the Business Expo. Gary Douglas has never been a shy person when it comes to holding a microphone or standing up to a podium. And today will be no exception. Looks like he's holding off waiting for Tom Hallett to get his tripod set up. Well, do you think that's what it is? Tom can't make the leg short enough, I guess. Tom is uh, somewhat of an, an icon in the area himself. We're so proud of uh, everything he's done. He's a very smart, I can call him a young man because he is compared to me. I'm so delighted that he decided to stay in the business after his stint at uh, the local commercial television station. I bet that camera cost a little more than yours, Calvin. What do you think? Probably. Yeah. I think we're ready to begin. Yes, yes. Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you for coming out. I'm Gary Douglas, president of the North Country Chamber of Commerce, and we're here today to talk about an exciting new development in the future of transportation equipment cluster in the North Country, centered here in Plattsburgh. Many of you have heard us say at the Chamber, our underlying philosophy for economic development in the region, where things move is where prosperity occurs. That is the centerpiece of the direction of all of our efforts in terms of the attraction of investment, the generation of jobs and economic activity and progress for the North Country. We are in two kinds of business here in the Plattsburgh area. We need to remind ourselves of that. Number one, we're in the Quebec business. And number two, a very strong subset of that, we're in the transportation equipment business. We have real opportunities for both going forward, but we increasingly need to be more strategic and more collaborative to build on the successes of the last 15 years to make sure that, number one, the companies and players and partners that we already have here maximize their competitiveness and have a way to address their changing needs, their problems and their challenges, and to pursue their opportunities going forward. We can't just be passive and say, well, they're here, they'll take care of themselves. Because our greatest growth will come from their future prosperity, will come from their success, and the story that, that tells to others that the Plattsburgh region is the place to be if you are in the transportation equipment business. Today we are announcing the creation of the North American Center of Excellence for Transportation Equipment. The North American Center of Excellence is not a building, although there will be a number of buildings, including Fred Smith's new building in the future over at Clinton Community College that will play a role in the center. What it is is a virtual center. It's a partnership, a collaboration, a commitment by all who have a role in the current status and future success of transportation equipment in the North Country to work together to help one another. First of all, the companies themselves to come together as a powerful cluster organization who share with each other what their needs are, who share solutions, who share ways that they can all be more competitive together than they can be separately. And then, again, to develop the kinds of changing programs in support of things like workforce development, supply chain connectivity, advocacy in Washington and Albany, other elements of success for our transportation equipment companies to go forward together and do those things and to maximize the success that we're capable to have here. Um, it will provide a home uh, in the private sector wing of the center uh, for those companies to come together as a new New York transportation equipment cluster, a trade organization, if you will, for transportation equipment related companies starting here in the North Country, but with a vision of building that cluster across the state as a powerful new unification of the sector. And for partnership among a number of organizations, many of whom are here in the audience today, uh, the Chamber, of course, the Development Corporation, the State of New York through Empire State Development and NYSTAR, the North Country Regional Economic Development Council, the North Country Workforce Investment Board, Clarkson University, SUNY Plattsburgh, Clinton Community College, CV Tech, SciTech, the P Tech program here in the North Country, and others. 
It is a way for them to take the collaboration they are already all committed to and having a focal point to collaborate in a more serious, sustained and strategic way uh, going forward. There will also be a follow-up story to this next week, so I can give you a little bit of a taste. You notice the beginning of the name is the North American Center. It's not the North Country Center. It's not the Plattsburgh Center. The North American Center. Well, how is it North American? Well, it's North American, first of all, because most of our companies in the cluster are North American. They're binational, even tri-national and global in nature uh, when you talk about those companies. But also, next Thursday, we will have the pleasure in St. Jean sur Richelieu at the annual conference of the Quebec Ground Transportation Cluster of announcing and signing a memorandum of understanding which will establish a full partnership and collaboration between our new North American Center and their center in Quebec with a common commitment not to build two clusters, but to commonly build a binational transportation equipment cluster involving both Quebec and New York. So today is a first step. Next Thursday will be the next step. There'll be many steps after that to expand this, to bring in all of those partners in meaningful ways and to expand the scope of the partnership across the state and perhaps globally wherever there is an opportunity to do that. One of the very key partner organizations who uh, created the foundation over the last couple of years amongst the transportation equipment companies here to generate the notion of first of all a cluster among the companies and then to lead to the logical decision that the next step was to create a platform such as the new North American Center of Excellence is the Development Corporation of Clinton County. And I'd like to call at this time on our partner and friend Paul Grasso. Thank you. This is a, a real exciting day. This is a real exciting day for uh, for Plattsburgh. I mean, the the center is actually going to formalize a cluster that is the key uh, economic driver in the region. Um, place importance of place is still critical, and when uh, companies are making site selection decisions, they like to locate in areas where there are like companies. Um, Area Development Magazine recently did a survey and it showed that 60% of their uh, readership like to be in areas where there were like companies. It becomes a very important decision. Um, the center is going to facilitate a national and global linkages of companies in the transportation equipment manufacturing business. It's, uh, it's critically important because manufacturing prowess isn't really enough to create a, a cluster. As Gary said, you need the educational institutions, you need the workforce development, you need the supply chain, you need uh, research and development, you need the financial resources for all of those things to succeed. And having uh, the North American Center for Excellence be the center of where all that is going to occur is critically important for the success of what is the largest driver of our economic success in the region, and we're very proud to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Jim Tooley is here on behalf of Novabus and Prevo. Uh, Jim is chair of the Industrial Council at the Chamber, has been for a number of years, and also has been uh, playing a leading role at the Development Corporation in the work uh, that Paul was just talking about that's been done there. And we're happy to have him comment about, the, about this announcement today. Thank you, Gary. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm addressing you as the chairman of the New York State Transportation Equipment Cluster. And it's wonderful news. We've had a group of approximately 12 transportation equipment companies working together for almost a year now, along with the educational community and uh, community leaders to work on uh, essentially things that through collaboration we can make us all more competitive. This idea of clustering uh, rose out of initiative, as Gary said, of the Development Corp. And the Development Corp used CAI Global to identify natural industrial clusters in our area. Once transportation was identified, we went to work to identify what areas uh, do we all have issues in that by improving those issues, 
we will become more competitive. And I'm very happy to say today that we now have an umbrella of the uh, North American Center of Excellence for Transportation Equipment to work underneath to make ourselves all more competitive, increase the number of partnering companies, and also the jobs for this community. Thank you very much. Another uh, key leader and a member of, uh, of the uh, board at the chamber and, uh, and at the Development Corporation who has been key uh, to getting us to this point is John Vermet uh, from Spencer ARL. John? Thank you, everyone. And uh, just to uh, echo a little bit more of what my friend said, uh, this is an exciting time. Uh, creating this cluster uh, is just another good step to uh, ensure the longevity of the world-class uh, leaders in mass transit that are fortunate enough to locate right here in our backyard. Uh, and Spencer ARL is a part of that, and we're excited to be a part of that. We look forward to the future. Thank you. Here on behalf of our friends at Bombardier is Jeff Lambert. Hello. Uh, one thing that we wanted to also talk about is uh, exactly how this, the cluster benefits uh, transportation. And Jim hit it right on the head when he said com com uh, competitive. In order to make us more competitive, by having the supply base local, you're reducing your logistics costs. You're increasing uh, the avail availability of the engineers from other sites to come over and work with your, uh, your company as well. With a, within a true partnership. Um, so yeah, that's what I got for you. And from our friends at B3CG, Francois Demers. Hi. Uh, very important for us to be to be part of that cluster. Uh, we are a long-term partner with uh, Novabus in the Canadian site. So now uh, is it being established here in the Plattsburgh area is great. And uh, seeing all the clusters uh, formation and everything attached to it is very encouraging because like it's said before, it's answering a lot of uh, difficulties we, we were facing so far. So it's a very exciting to be part of it and very exciting for our future and our strategic development. So. With that, uh, we'll be happy to take some questions or to talk with any of you on the side afterwards. Okay. Thank you all for coming, and uh, we look forward to rolling out some more news starting next week about the North American Center of Excellence for Transportation Equipment.